Hey guys, Jaybird here, and today we're going to be doing a really quick tutorial, and it's actually going to be covering something that we did previously, but this is an updated version of the traversals tutorial. So, what we would have had happened uh, probably around the time of December was uh, an update for the mod tools that kind of broke some of my traversals, and so what this is going to be doing is not only fixing the ones that were done in the previous tutorial, but also adding in some of the ones that they've added in uh, since like multiple updates. So we actually have uh, DLC 1 and DLC 4 traversals as well. So that's from Castle, which is also called uh, Der Eisendruck, and from uh, Revelations. So let's jump in it. Alright guys, so really easy. All you're going to have to do, just like last time, just go into the description of this video, download the traversals uh, RAR file and extract that to your desktop. Then what you're going to want to do is drag all the stuff into the respective folders. In fact, in this tutorial, all you're going to have, unlike the last tutorial, we had some scripts we had to deal with. Uh, we don't have to this time because they actually gave us updated uh, Atom scripts. So. Uh, what we're going to do is go into our map source folder and just throw in the prefabs in there. So currently What we have are a total of 38 traversals here So that's actually a lot more than we had last time But you have to keep in mind that the traversals that are set up don't include the Deris ones that we had from last time Those ones or the factory ones that they called them uh, But basically those ones only work with a specific spawner. So uh when you guys go over and start doing this tutorial, those traversals won't work at all. So, uh, we would have to update the Atom scripts to do that. But anyways, uh, if you come into your map in Radiant, there's one prerequisite that you're going to have to do. And we're going to have to swap out the spawner. You know how you have to have this one guy in your map so your zombies can spawn and they go at the structs that you tell them to spawn at? This guy we're going to be replacing with the newer version. So if you notice this, if I select the spawner uh, and I have my entity info up by pressing N, you can see that this is an actor spawner ZM factory zombie. So that's the old one. So that's how you'll t uh, be able to tell if you have the old version. You're going to want to click B to bring up the uh, entity browser. I just started searching for ZOM here. And what you're going to want to do is come down until you find spawner ZM user map zombie. And just drag one of those guys on. So then. We're going to just want to click N again to go back to our entity info and we're just going to want to copy all the settings from the spawner that was in the default map into our new spawner. So if you'll notice a lot of this stuff's the same. I believe this 99999 is different as well as for the count it's also 99999. And what else did we have? I believe those are all the same. Export doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. We have some checkboxes here, so um, alert on spawn is off, make room is on, uh, this is off, force is on, so let's get those four first, off, on, off, on, then we had off, off, on, off, 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 on, off, there we go. So now we just want to do the target name for this guy was empty oh never mind no target name but we do need to add in these kvps so we have this guy which is script disabled leader so let's do that one add kvp script disable leader and i believe that was set to one as well as script force spawn which is set to one script force Okay, and then one more, which is script noteworthy zombie spawner. So once we've added this, then we're basically all good. Noteworthy zombie spawner. There we go. So you can delete your original one, and then now you're just left with the new updated spawner. So this guy can now use the new traversals. So just like any other traversal that you've done you know, with my previous tutorials, if you bring up the prefabs, you right click at the top here and go to prefabs, and then you go into the traversals. You can use any of the 38 uh, traversals that we have here. There's a lot of cool ones that they added in, like there's a couple of the castle ones where they're actually climbing up some stuff. Uh, like look at this one, this is climb up 56 units and then down 32. So uh, 
to be able to display this, you can rather stamp it or go into it. I'm just going to stamp it here. So right click prefab, stamp prefab, and then you can select this guy here. And then what you're going to want to do is have this animation tab open. So just click on animation. And I've already set up the, the animation in here with the test model. And you can just hit play and you can watch him climb up and then back over. So I added in all these tra uh, traversal materials into all the traverses. So you can just line these up really easily. Uh, and that should make it pretty easy for you guys to slap these into your maps and have the zombies climbing up things, jumping over stuff, and making your map a little more dynamic. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!